What's up, Virgos? This is Evolving Wisdom, and yes, I am still here, and I am still evolving. All right, you guys, I'm here to do your July reading, but first, I want to let you guys know that I'm offering a seven-day special. It ends July 1st at midnight, so if you guys don't need to get in on that special, if you're looking for a personal reading, $20 for private links and $35 for over-the-phone readings, okay? So, like I said, it's going to end July 1st at midnight, so if you guys are really looking for a fire-ass reading, okay, someone who can really get personal and get into some deep shit, that's me, okay? Hit me up. You guys look at the pin information that will be at the bottom of this video and look in the description box for, um, like, how to contact me um, via email, okay? All right, you guys, let's jump into your reading here. You guys, please like, share, and subscribe. And Virgos, leave me some comments at the bottom. You guys be quiet. So silent. Like, come on. I know y'all earth, y'all laid back. Okay, I get it, but, like, let your girl know, okay? All right, you guys, let's jump into your reading. All right, what information? Let's see. information do my Virgos need to know? What information do my Virgos need to know? All right. What's going on with my Virgos? Virgos? Oh, my Virgos. You guys are fucking doing your fucking thing here. Oh, I love you guys so much. I'm so proud of you guys. I really am. All right, you guys. Look at this. You guys are walking. And so this is coming towards you. This is coming towards you, okay? Look at the flow of water. Look at the great, beautiful food, the healthy food. That's not just look at the food, but it's healthy, okay? I mean, this relationship that you are about to... I'm not going to say that this is person is coming towards you immediately right now, okay? Because there's something else coming to in your cars that I'm going to get to. But this is, so, this is what you are going to be walking towards here, okay? You are going to get this, okay? This is why I came out. You guys are rebirthing something new. Some of you guys may be pregnant. I am feeling, because even though this woman here is pregnant, I do feel like I'm picking up someone who may be pregnant or finding out that they're pregnant, okay? But it's going to be a beautiful um, thing, okay? Like you guys, and a lot of you guys just have just beautiful blissfulness that's coming through for you guys, okay? Okay, but there is somebody, it's a foolish ass person that's coming towards you, that's flying towards you. Look at this man, this person here. He looks like love. He's offering you love. He got his cup full of bubbles. Bubbles because he's childish as fuck. He don't have no shoes on to even be presentable to even why he's offering you this. He didn't even care. Okay, look at the shark at the bottom of it. Doesn't even care who he hurts. He got the cat hanging on from the fucking thread here about to fall um, into this water just, just just shows you what type of person this is it's just a person who kind of goes off of their emotions for that moment and then it goes away okay they're going to be very drawn to you this is a very magnetic um energy that's coming in a very karmic energy you guys are going to feel very drawn to this person but i'm telling you this person is a fool it's a it's a quick type of oh i'm in love it's a quick honeymoon and then i kid you now you guys like within a week or two like this this energy will not be here anymore it won't be this lovey-dovey shit anymore you're going to see who this person really is okay some of you guys are going to be feeling like entrapped by this or a lot of you guys are feeling entrapped in prison by your thoughts and by your emotions by your negative thoughts it's a false entrapment you guys have going on as you can see the woman is standing um she's um kneeled down as if she's in prison here with the um swords all around her okay but she can get out at any time anytime she can unloosen her her strings that that are not really even tied she's just false it's just false entrapment you guys got yourself into or you you feeling this way at the moment you guys need to get up out of that right now because that's not what that's not really what's really real okay let's get deeper into your reading here okay what is my Aries oh I said Aries what does my Virgos need to know 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 Yeah, 
All right, Virgo. So you guys have some a, a lover or someone around you right now. Maybe you just met them or they just came back around, okay? There is a lot of fight. There are some finances coming towards you guys here very soon. But you guys, there is a queen of diamonds and a queen of cups of a female um, energy that you guys are dealing with, okay? This is not such a good energy, okay? Maybe they're cool. You, you guys are cool. You get along with this person or whatever, but they don't really... Are, they're not going to be able to give you what you need, okay? Because they're, they're, they have some internal shit that they need to deal with within themselves to e be able to give a relationship what, they, what it needs, okay? This is not just like a, a terrible person, okay? But it's just that they just have some shit that they need to figure out. They need to go on their own path, okay? You need to just separate yourself from this individual and not give it all, give it all that you have been given, okay? This is like a, almost like a new energy, okay? And a lot of you guys are meeting some type of male energy also, too, that is coming in towards you, okay? Be weary of this person, okay? This is not the person for you, okay, at all. But you guys have some jealous energy around you. You guys have some very, you have some jealous energy around you, okay? And it may be just, it's, it seems like there is some a male energy that's coming in here. Very young-minded type of individual. All about their money, unreliable, say shit, and they don't, they don't back it up, okay? So this, you guys need to be weary of this um, person, even if it's resonating with your, um, this new energy. And it, it could, it very well could be the person that's coming towards you or somebody you have around you. But if it's someone that is not new coming in they're like very possessive very jealous type of energy they kind of like want you all to themselves okay let's get another spread here virgos let's get another spread here what do my virgos need to know what do my virgos need to know this is what's coming towards you a new relationship you guys got fight your money coming in y'all got your money somebody uh, somebody getting some money very soon in july okay or you guys are just really manifesting very well here jealous <sighs> you guys got some type of male energy around you um that's very jealous jealous type very jealous type. A lot of you guys just met this um um this individual, and some of it some of it they're coming in. But I really get a feeling a lot of you guys have just caught back up with somebody. And it, it, when I say new, it doesn't matter if you knew them years and years ago or whatever. If they're coming back, they're they're new. Okay, and you need to be careful. You need to be cautious. There's some burden surrounding this person. There's some burden surrounding a female also. Look at this. There's just some burden surrounding um, new people coming into your life and people who are there too, it seems like. I'm going to get another spread. So, so many damn people showing up in y'all reading. Y'all got some really, y'all got some jealous, very jealous energy around you. Someone has some male energy, very young. I don't even care. I don't care if they're older than you. Okay, they're young, they're young emotionally, they're young when it comes to relationship, they don't handle things the way it should be handled as an adult. Okay, or just somebody who, who about their business when it comes to their relationships who really cherish you or, um, you know, they value you. They just, they're just all about themselves type of energy. Okay, there is some interference that's going to be coming in towards you guys. This is, it's this new person. It's this new energy, like a friend or somebody you're just like meeting or coming around here. There's going to be some interference. It's a queen of diamonds, a gossiping ass female around you who likes to keep up drama. I don't even, if that even resonate with this woman that y'all are dealing with or just someone around you, they're like, you need to be cautious of this person. You need to be really cautious of this person. This is like a marriage. A lot, some of you guys are dealing with some type of energy, like a marriage or even if you was not married to this person, it's a very deep um, type of connection or like a karmic relationship that is coming in or that you're dealing with right now. It seems like you guys are dealing with this. Okay? You need to just be cautious of that. You need to be cautious of that shit. This is going to be some stirrups with that. Okay? You guys got some beautiful... You do got... Now you guys, you guys have some and a great energy coming around now towards the end of July. You, just, you guys got some jealous look you guys do have some jealous energy around you also 
okay? There's a male energy that's coming in that's very jealous and burdens, okay? No. This is coming towards you guys. Just be careful. You guys, be careful of anybody new that's in your life and be careful with the people you have around you. You guys, use your intuition, okay? Use your intuition with the people you got around you. There's going to be some burdens when you come, when it comes to even separating from this person, it's like this person, whoever's coming in, I'm talking now right now, I'm talking about this person that's in your life now or that is coming towards you, okay? Very jealous, very um, kind of narcissistic type of energy. Even when you try to separate from this person, there's going to be some issues, okay? So you guys need to just be careful of that. Really be careful of that, okay? Let's get these cards over here. Let's see what other message you guys have, Virgos. What do my Virgos need to know? <clears throat> falling in love all of a sudden. You guys are fall, going to fall in love all of a sudden. Being swept off your feet. Being swept off your feet by this fool. Okay? But you need to stay grounded during a very emotional experience. You need to stay grounded so you can pay attention to these red flags. So you can pay attention to the yellow flags that tell you to slow down. Pay attention to the energy you got around you guys, okay? Pay attention. Because you're dealing with somebody that's a very foolish-ass person. Pay attention that you're not going doubling back here. Because these karmic energies is coming in towards you. It's like, it's like the universe is trying to say, well, have you learned? Do you really want happiness? Do you really want all that, everything that you said you wanted and you're asking for? Well, let's see. Let's see. Let me bring some other, let me bring somebody who's kind of similar to the past shit you've been through, but just a different face. Be careful, you guys, okay? Use your intuition here. It says, be a servant to what it comes, what, when it comes to what you know is right. Everything is going your way, okay? You need to be cautious, you guys. It's just a big sign, like, you guys really need to be cautious here, why wishes come true everything you guys want virgos is coming true dreams are being fulfilled a magical time in your life okay somebody has some indecision going on somebody's sitting there like they're all in their head thinking that they can't do this that this is going to happen and creating all these stories and it's not true it is not true at all you guys get yourself out of this prison and go for what you know you want. Indecision is holding you back. Make the choices that, that are best for you rather than trying to please others. Feeling trapped between the intellectual and the emotional. Use your intellect. Don't use your emotions. Use your intellect. That's going to get you up out of that. Let's put two and two together. Okay? Forget the emotions and how you feel. What's really real? What's really going on? Okay? That's what you guys need to look at. The good you do comes back to you. An unexpected inflow of money. You guys got your money flowing in. You guys got your money flowing in here. Okay. Let's get let's get the um, energy of the gods here. Let's see what's going on. What message do you have for my Virgos here? What message do you have for my Virgos? What message do you have for my Virgos here? What message do you have for my Virgos? Divine passion. Be honest with what you, what was with yourself. What is your heart's true desires? What do you guys really want, Virgos? What do you really want? Whatever you want, you need to get up and go after it and stop putting this shit in your head. I'm talking to somebody specific. I'm not talking to everybody because everybody is not. Um, I'm not feeling that every all of the Virgos are feeling entrapped, but there's a few of you out here who are just all in your freaking head, and you need to go for go for it. Whatever it is, transitioning out of a relationship, moving moving somewhere, doing something new, being an entrepreneur, whatever. You guys need to get out of it. Get out of your heads. Body, you guys need to go around some water here. You guys need to recharge yourself. Spend time near water, such as a lake, a river, or the ocean, to recharge yourself. You guys are too much in your head. <clears throat> Why does this come out? <clears throat> okay, what do my Virgos need to know? What message do you have for my Virgos? It's time for a cleansing, a detox. 
Virgos, it's time for you to get on your shit. It's not about always the outside. It's about what's going on in the inside. Okay? If you guys want to attract abundant people around you, you want to attract success and people who are there on your path to help you, and you want to open up those doors, and you got to get yourself together. You got to love yourself enough to say, you know what? I deserve. I deserve this. I deserve to go after my dreams. I deserve for good people to come around. I deserve to move on from any from situations. You guys got to go for it. You can't just sit there. Okay? Nothing's going to drop in your lap. A bright future popped out for you guys. Okay? Stop worrying. Everything is going fine, Virgos. Everything. You guys need to be strong. You need to be strong. Whatever your situation is, is you guys need to step in your power, Virgos. You are stronger than you think. You are, you think you are. And your strength assures a happy outcome. Okay, let's get one more card from here. Past life. The situation that you're dealing with it concerns a past life. And, and, and who, if you guys are entertaining somebody new in your life, there, I, what did I just tell y'all in the beginning? I'm like, this is some karmic energy. You guys need to be bold and, and get on with it. Whatever is going on, there's some karmic energy staring around to see if you are re really ready to release and really ready to walk into your happiness. Are you ready? If you are, then go for it. Go after what you want. Go after what you want. Don't care about what nobody else thinks. Don't 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 li listen to that intuition. Okay, listen to your emotions. Okay. All right, um, Virgos. I think that's all. I think I want to get a card from here. I just started playing with these, so let's see. Let me see what's going deeper with you guys here. What, are my Virgos? what message do you have for my Virgos here? Calling the storm. Wow, Virgos. Wow. This is um the third number 30 here. Calling the storm here. To me, this is just me. Really, you guys need to step into your power here. You guys don't believe in yourself. You, you're not believing in yourself. Some of you guys are not believing in yourself. And you need to call, you need to call in that energy for yourself. You can ask. You can ask. You can ask the universe, whoever you pray to, whatever, just help, help you out, help you get out of your head and believe in yourself, okay? You call, need to call in the storm here, okay? Let's get one more card from here. I just started playing with these um, cards. These are dark shadow cards. I really feel like you guys need to have these cards read on you. I'm just going to do one more card here. Queen of the world. Look at this. What is this? A four... Six. This is six. This is infinite. So this is the 24, which um, when you add them together, it's, it's the number six, which is it's the most actually most spiritual number. And I just found this out. It's just like the infinite. It's like the infinite, almost perfect. Like this number goes with almost any other number. It's like a perfect bringing everything together. This is you guys. This is who you are. OK, the queen of the world here. Walking into who the fuck you are. You guys got this. Just believe in yourself, Virgos. Believe in yourself. You guys got this. Step into your power, okay? All right, Virgos. That is your July reading. If you guys want to get it on the special, all that information will be pinned at the bottom. And, and you guys can look in the description box on how to contact me, all right? This is Evolving Wisdom. And yes, booze, I'm still here and I'm still evolving. You guys take care of yourself.